Hello everybody, welcome back to the video. Uh, today in this video I want to talk about the, um, our watch the deep dive video for the Sea of Thieves update. Um, I know I'm a day late because I didn't really get a chance to play, um, nor did I really feel like loading Sea of Thieves. <laughs> um, had to completely reinstall the game again because, you know, I didn't have it installed. Because uh, the last update was not fun. <laughs> it was not good. Um, and I'm really hoping this update is better, but, you know, we'll see. Seaport saw a brand new encounter that we're adding into the Sea of Thieves, where players will sail towards an inhabited Spanish naval fort uh, uh, on their ship, dodge the incoming fire from those cannonballs. They can take out gunpowder barrels on the side on their way in. You'll fight through those waves of phantoms, and then at the end, there'll be a phantom captain who's especially not pleased that you're there. Defeating the phantom captain, we'll see him drop a key to the fort treasury, where there'll be plenty of loot. Some of it ghostly, some of it a bit more mysterious and then you'll get to take that away and cap it in. So there's six different sea ports across the three core world regions of the Sea of Thieves. So it's and just a skull fort, but it's small, okay. And players can kind of go in and have this encounter. But there's no kind of big world event cloud in the sky that's drawing players in. It's just kind of a more localized event, more akin to like the shipwrecks or the treasuries that we have in, in the world already. And so and it's, it's, it's just, future. it's a treasury, but above water. <laughs> So now there's an actual point of phantoms being in the game, so that's cool, I guess. Well, I didn't want to give too much away, so I wanted it to sort of sound quite mysterious, but not overly foreboding, I think. And then as you get sort of to the end of that piece of music, you kind of get like a dry funeral drum. Almost. It's a snare drum with a snare turned off. It's one of the best sounds in the world. So it starts off quite mysterious, and then it kind of goes apprehensive. So when combat starts, the music will kind of be blaring, everything's really exciting, phantoms are popping up all over the place. First thing you want to do is just create a sense of space. Uh, mm. All you guys got to jump into is just got the idea of using actually a, a ship's operating system and have it on the fort. Oh, there's a map table. So if there are phantoms upstairs, it'll sound like they're upstairs. And if your, your friends are fighting sort of downstairs or upstairs, you'll also get a sense of that space as well. Once well, the yeah, that's been just completed by a crew and they leave that island, there's a short cooldown before the fort will be occupied again by the phantoms once more. And once it's been reoccupied, players can go back to that fort and engage in that combat again. With a sea fort, because it's so a you can, yeah, I mean, you can just a shorter session after going. To it's just, I mean, yeah. it is literally just the exact same thing as the treasuries, but you know, I guess it's a little cooler because the the sea forts do look really sick. And just sail away, go sell, come back. Hey, look, it's already back. And that's just, it's kind of cool being able to not have to, if you're actually going to go PvE shit, uh, just being able to spawn into a server, being like, oh, hey, look, there's a, there's a sea fort right there. And there's six of these. So it's not like, oh, crap, I got a shitty outpost spawn. I got to go three hours for a treasury. It's, oh, hey, look, there's one right there. And you just go there and do it. That's kind of cool for, you know, PvE stuff. As well as PvP stuff, because you can just like spawn in, look off the outpost, and be like, "Oh, hey, look! There's somebody doing a treasure. Let me go ruin their ruin their day." Well, still the warden, even if not a treasury, a uh, sea fort. In a short time that they're playing, they can still go to the sea fort and collect rewards and have a load of fun in an awesome environment with the music and amazing gameplay. But at the same time, come back to the outpost after a short session, cash in their rewards, and then log off the game if they choose to at that point with a, a real feeling of accomplishment. Yeah, I guess that's good because I don't it's think they take very long to do. Solely occupying it, so I wanted to just let that loose and take. I've got an old beaten up guitar in the loft, which is my son's one from primary school, which he never plays anymore. So it's a it's a kid model to get that sort of Spanish flavour. And my trumpet that played very bright with lots of vibrato to give that Spanish authentic kind of feel to it. The main sort of element for me in combat music is the tempo. So you sort of sail at tempo and then beat. With this music, I use the guitar as a percussive instrument. And I'm not a great guitar player, so but I could sort of drum and hit patterns and rhythms with it. A big part of what we wanted to achieve with seaports was ensuring that they could be used for role play with crews. We wanted the seaports to almost be like a homestead for the crew inside the Sea of Thieves. So you can imagine a soldier mm. needs to. Oh yeah, we saw that. And <laughs> do their job defending this fort. Previously, we've had forts in the Sea of Thieves operated by skeletons. 
skeletons don't need to eat or sleep, but human soldiers do, right? That's kind of what we try to tell, where there's different areas in every single sword that serve their own function, and we try to connect these in a as logical way as we can. Okay. So we tried to make a bit of a sonic marriage between what feels like a lived in space with the Spanish soldiers, but what also now feels like a haunted space that's been overrun by those phantoms. And also with the bell, the processing that we did on the bell is similar to the processing that was done on the phantoms, at least from a tonal perspective. Oh. I actually mix and blend the different bell sounds. I've got a big walk in my studio and I just hit it with the metal pieces and I've just mixed up all the, the bell sounds just to give it more harsh and, and colder and just more uh, uh, anxious feel when the, the bell is ringing. We want it to feel like you're invading someone's property and then you're kind of ransacking and rummaging through all their drawers and pieces, <laughs> all of their kind of trinkets and treasures that you can then take out. So we've got a lot of interactivity around that. We have some cool kind of mechanisms in the lower basement. Oh, that's cool. Help players take the treasure out of the treasury and quickly get them back onto their ship so that that experience can remain as short as possible for players. You can also defend the fort once you've claimed it from the phantoms a good uh, it's not a good quality of life update question mark now that is really sick being able to have like being able to like push that shit out or pull it down to your robo or whatever to get it out quickly that's really cool because that's you, you can't do that on skull farts it's not going to reactivate and become re-inhabited with phantoms until players leave and have left for a certain amount of time so if you stay on that fort you can claim it as yours We've also got a big map wall in the sea fort, which, if players do choose to swing their session on longer, break from the sea fort, they can plan out an adventure together. We set up four different interaction points around the map so players can all stand around the map and interact with it at once, and just allow players to plan out their adventure in a fun space and role play. So depending on the region of the world that you're in... <laughs> Are we all going to be able to move the map at the same time? Because that's not going to go well. Everybody's just going to fuck with each other. It's not gonna go well. Sea forts that you might come across are, are different. Each sea fort in each world region has a different kind of ancient form. isles, I assume. As if they've been kind of brought in from the sea of the damned and, and different kind of states. You can imagine that you, these have been built from the same blueprint by the same building contractor, for example. Mm -hmm. Then, as they've appeared, they've had a different history. They've, some have been disused, some are still in use. You can kind of see that they've all had a different story and history to happen inside them. Then there's also the the nature. Yeah, of there's the ancient isles. Oh yeah, because it's so different elements of nature have had their effects as well, and we've tried to blend that all together to create a unique look for every single one of these forts. We wanted to kind of go for something new and make them sound different to any other space in Sea of Thieves, and we also wanted them to feel unique because every sea has its own style of sea fort. The wild sounds a lot gloomier and spookier than the Shores of Plenty, for example, in the ancient isles where it's all yep. overgrown. Yep, yep. We've added in some new ambience for the wildlife, new insects that you can hear, slightly different birds and things like that, so it really feels a lot more present and overrun than any other kind of nature area that we have in Sea of Thieves so far. And there's also a lot of little ear snacks that you'll hear when you're exploring the fort as well, so little creature sounds that you might hear in the wild forts in particular, I've kind of got a sound that you'll hear every so often that kind of feels like someone's sort of behind you, like little, little kind of things that make you kind of turn your head um, and feel like they're kind of popping up but you can't quite track down where they're coming from to make it have that haunted vibe. There's always a balance to find where something needs to be fit for gameplay but also needs to look nice. These forts in particular were really fun and challenging because we're not really used to doing much architectural work into the games. With these forts you find a lot more hatches and doors and gates and mechanisms and all these kinds of man-made things. Oh, I like that music. There's a lot of twists and turns in, in the level design as well, which can keep players on their toes. They'll have to watch around every corner to make sure there's not a phantom there to pick them out. The sea forts are a very different type of environment, and whether players are going there for combat or whether they're going there to roleplay with their crew, I think there's a lot that they're going to kind of get out of this, and we can't wait to see how they're going to be used off stage. Mm, is that it, I assume? Yeah, we aren't going to get any deep dive on the other part of that. Okay, shush. Uh, we're not going to get any deep dive on the... I was hoping we were going to get a deep dive on the other stuff. 
uh, like the stuff that's coming later in the season, but obviously not. I didn't really expect it. I hoped for it, but I didn't really expect it. Um, but no, it's kind of cool. I am. I'm kind of excited for these. Um, they don't look like they're gonna have. I mean, I don't think they're gonna have too much like replay. I mean, there obviously there's replayability, but like new experience replayability type deal. Like once you like do it a couple times or you. Um, de or you've defended a couple times or whatnot. Is that one active? <laughs> I'm not wanting to see a thief on my other monitor. <laughs> um, no, but uh, I think I think they're cool. Uh, I'm probably not gonna do them too often, but if somebody else is doing them, I will I will gladly go over there and uh, help them sell their loot. <laughs> no, but I think they're cool. Um, I think it's a good update. Um, but. I was hoping, I was really hoping that we would get all the content at the same time, but I understand why they didn't do that because, you know, you, you release all the same, con all the content at the same time, and then I do it all, and then I hate the game again. So, I'll, it'll maybe keep coming back, because in two weeks we have, um, in two weeks we have the next adventure, and then after that, uh, I don't know what date or month, but halfway through the season, we're getting the Pirate Legend, uh, the Pirate Legend Voyages, like the, the tornado you saw in the in the previous video that they have, uh, this one, uh, there, yeah, the tornado that they have for the legend voyages, which I'm, I, that's what I'm the most excited about for the season, the legend voyages, the new ones, because, you know, pirate legend content that isn't, you know, $3 trillion fucking sales. Um, but other than that, you can probably hear my fucking, oops, you can probably hear my controller. Um, cause I've had to switch back to Xbox for, uh, for, uh, whatever reason for Sea of Thieves. Cause when I load it, I have a, 10 second input delay on every single thing I do and it is only Sea of Thieves because I can play every other game just fine I can run VR for God's sake on my PC but I cannot run Sea of Thieves for some reason so you know hence why I'm playing on Xbox which kind of I, I can run fucking I can run Destiny 2 on my fucking PC but I cannot run Sea of Thieves I don't get it but other than that that's all I got I'm excited for this update I hope you guys are too sorry it's a day late um didn't have much time yesterday peace I say peace and I have to like tap out and...